Hello and welcome to today's little uh, information video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Bushel Plus here. Um, yeah, just showing you how it works in the game, a little bit about it, and what its application is in real life as well. Uh, so yeah, first when you buy it in the store, there's two parts. There's a red tray under there and the main unit. We'll just get under the combine there. Jump in the combine here. You attach it. Uh, when you attach it, it'll go right to where the drawbar is in the combine. And you can use your mouse to position it. On the axle. Uh, floating still. There we go. Now you can position it in place. Uh, I've made it like that so that it should work on any combine. Um, and then uh, here to drop the pan is going to be the Z key. If you're on PC, at least that's what my keybind is, and see if I can find uh, that was left button up on the D-pad on a, a uh, Xbox controller to into the computer. Um, if you're playing with controller, or you can yeah assign it to whatever keybind you're using. Uh, we'll just do a little uh, yield demo here as well. Show you the difference of using the Bushel Plus versus uh, without it. So, for this first one here, we'll start the combine up. And as you're using it, if you want, you can just go play the little screen. Uh, you can use it here and drop the pan to simulate uh, checking your sample. For the yield bonus, we're going to be showing here. Doesn't matter if you drop the pan or not, but it is there as a function if you want to role play or whatever. Or yeah, it's set up that way so that you can do that the end here and see what our yield is. Oh, 1916 liters. Um, I'll just, this is a test map, so I'll just dump that on the ground so that we can go back and on a strip without bushel plus to see how much of a yield gain that is. So as we back up for it. And back up on it. And we'll just back up here and drop the bushel bus off. And we'll do a little trip here without it, just to see what that yields. Yeah, that goes there, I'm just going to pull up another little window there. And it's one of the really cool things about this project is I was actually approached by the inventor and owner of Bushel Plus to bring this into the game, so it's been a very cool project in that way. Uh, to be able to work with them to bring it to the game. Um, oops. Oh, there you are, 1700 liters without Bushel Plus, so. Roughly about 200 liters more on that strip. It should be roughly around a 10% yield increase. 
uh, which is to represent the additional yield you would find in using it. Um, I guess also I will show in the store. It is under miscellaneous here. There it is there. Um, and here, just a little bit about what it's used for in real life, just for that info, if you're not familiar with it, or what the function of this device would be in real life. Uh, it's a drop pan for checking your losses on the combine. Uh, for farmers in real life, it would be, you know, you have to set the combine to try and clean the grain, but also not, you know, blow the, the good grain out the back of the combine. And so this is a way of uh, calibrating and checking your combine to make sure that you're not wasting any seed by spitting it out the back of the combine. Uh, from their website here, it says savings have been reported anywhere from 2 to 10%. Just imagine harvesting selling that much more grain just because you spent a few minutes to check your combine harvest loss. And so that's the yield bonus of 10% in the game is coming from that figure there that that can make that much of an impact on how much more grain you're going to bring in your combine. Uh, so obviously, that's a big increase in uh, grain over a whole field. It would add up quite substantially and easily justify that cost of the machine. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit about it. Uh, the mod, how to use it, what it does, uh, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video.